Okay, so next we have to do our head to toe assessment. Um, I think we start with feet, maybe? I don't know what it stands for. You know? It's like heart. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Elbow. And um, like epigastric. And navel. And navel. And those and go together. T, T, T. Toes. toes. Yeah, because okay. you never forget the feet. That's right. Right? Yeah. You never forget the toes. Ladies, ladies, ladies. Whoa. What? What is that? So you remember anything we learned in Jackie's class? It's called H E E N T, standing for head, ears, eyes, nose, and throat. Oh, yeah, we knew that. Oh, yeah. yeah, okay. Okay. So yeah. let's start with your head. Okay. Check the shape and symmetry, noting the condition of the hair and scalp, and any lumps and lesions that might be present. Does this hurt at all? No. Have you noticed any lumps or lesions in your hair? No. Okay. Scalp looks good. No lumps or lesions. Your hair is not dry and I don't see any lice or flakes or anything. Now let's check the temporal pulse okay. using the index and middle fingers of both hands grading the pulses. Alright, her temporal pulse is 2 plus equal bilaterally and right. Next palpate the temporal mandibular joint and ask patient to open and close mouth. Keep Note any through. popping and ask about pain. There's a little bit of popping. Does it hurt at all? Nope. Okay. Now palpate the, for the lymph nodes. Starting with your preauricular, moving to your po posterior auricular, occipital, posterior cervical, superficial cervical. Now ask patient to turn head and palpate for a deep cervical chain on each side. Can you turn your head over? Now ask patient to shrug shoulders and palpate for a subclavicular. Now move back to jugular digastric, submandibular, and submental. If lymph nodes are palpable, no location, size, shape, and delimitation. Lymph nodes are not palpable. Now ask the patient to turn head against resistance and shrug shoulders. Can you turn your head against my hand? Okay, we're gonna go the other way. Alright, and then if you can just shrug your shoulders and turn. Alright. Now palpate the carotid, one at a time, noting strength. Hi, they're two plus and regular. Next, palpate the sinuses, frontal and maxillary. Okay. No any pain or pressure. Is this tender at all? Nope. Um, ask about vision, which indicates your cranial nerve field. How's your vision? Good. How often do you go to the doctor? Once a year. Do you have contacts for it? Yes. Check the eyes and note if they appear symmetrical. Eyes are symmetrical. Note any drainage or crusting nymphs. No drainage, no crusting. Check the conjunctiva and pleura and indicate any redness or lesions. No redness. Next, check for perla. Check pupil size, whether they are equal. Pupils are round and equal. And whether they react to light. This indicates cranial nerve bleed. Okay, they went from a five to a four. Now check accommodation using your pen. Okay, so you go ahead and look away and then look back at my thumb now check for conversion. Ask the patient to follow pen inward towards the thumb. Okay. Follow my thumb right. Now check the six cardinal positions, which indicate cranial nerves three, four, and six. Alright, go ahead and follow my thumb right. Next check your patient's peripheral vision. Tell me when you can see it from that. I can see it. Okay. 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 Now let's move to the nose. Ask about any drainage or congestion. Do you have any congestion, any draining, runny nose? Nope. Okay. Can you plug one nose and then read up on it? Okay, perfect. The other one. All right, nose is patent. After checking nasal patency, check for deviated septum. Okay, so look up your nose. 
No deviated septum present. Ask patient about their smell. Have mm -hmm. you had any problems with your smell? And do they not smell the same as they used to? Nope. Now, moving to the mouth, check the patient's lips. Okay. And ask patient to open mouth and indicate mucous membrane color and if there are any lesions present. Okay. Lips are pink. They are moist. Can you open your mouth? Can you see the pink? Let's see if the mouth opens up. All right, mucous membranes are moist. Check the condition of the teeth and note the number of teeth present. Total 14 on top, 14 on bottom. Know any odor and ask the patient to stick out tongue saying ah and checking gag reflex. Cranial nerves 9 and 10. Okay, good. <laughs> ah. Ah. <laughs> right. Check tonsils and rate them if present. Tonsils are present, they are plus 1. Push tongue into, ask the patient to push tongue into cheek. So you push it down into the cheek? Cranial nerve 12. Okay. Ask the patient to move their tongue around. Okay. Ask patient to clench teeth and feel muscles. Cranial nerve five. Okay. Ask a patient about their hearing or hearing aids. Do you have hearing aids or have you had any problems with your hearing? No. Okay. Ask patient about pain in their ears. Have you had any pain, any ear infections recently? Nope. Mm -hmm. um, using the tuning fork, perform the Weber test. On your patient. Can you hear us equally in both ears? Yes. Now perform the rhyme test. Tell me when you stop hearing me. Noting the time and both positions. It's gone. If I could just have you close one ear for me, and then I'm going to whisper a word, and you can tell me what it is. Jackie. Okay. I'm going to do the other one. Rocks. Next, um, feel for the trachea, and if the thyroid is present. Okay, I'm just going to have you swallow for me, please. Okay. Thyroid is not present. Um, next, ask patient to stand up and perform a Robert test. Can you just stand up for us? I'm just going to have you close your eyes, and then you stand. Okay. Minimal swing. Okay. And then just in case from now on anyone forgets what H-E-E-N-T stands for, we have a little song for you. Head, eyes, ears, nose, and throat, nose, and throat. <laughs> Head, eyes, ears, nose, and throat, nose, and throat. Your head, your eyes, your ears, nose, and throat. Head, eyes, ears, nose, and throat, nose, and throat.